Mahashri and Joe. They're coming, right? They'll be there. They'll be at the christening. Yeah. Good. Have you guys seen them? Not as much lately, no. no. I'm worried about Teresa. There's a lot going on in her personal life right now. I gave her a call. Is everything okay with you? I'm fine. What was her response? I don't know how you could keep that facade up. Because I myself, I don't think I'd want to leave the house. She's got a new family. Jacqueline and Callan, that's my family. Is it family? I don't think so. Yeah. This is her family at the end of the day. Yeah. Even when we are invited to be with Teresa and her friends, um, it's kind of like we're not even there. So you know what? I'm thinking our family is not a big priority to the Judices. Things have been tense between me and my brother. Jacqueline understands family drama because I know she's been going through it with Ashley. I think every family has some. We used to be perfect. He was like my best friend. When did it change? After you got married. How did he change? Like what happened? I don't know. I mean, I tried with her so much. And you know, people that have sisters always go to their sisters, you know? I wanted my brother's wife, Melissa, to be my sister. And she would like just blow me off. So then I was just like, okay. Then I stopped calling <laughs> as much. Hi guys. I want I know I say congratulations at the church, but I want to say congratulations again. Thanks. Why congratulations are you about it now? why? Why are you saying it now? Just walk away. Just walk away. Go. Are you kidding me? Teresa, do what you do every day. Just walk the f away. Stop, Joe. Are you kidding me? Teresa. Stop. Stop, I said. Teresa, Teresa what, are, what are you Stop. doing, Teresa? What? Stop. Didn't I say congratulations Teresa. at church? Teresa, take a walk. Stop. Are you kidding me? Teresa, take Stop. a walk. Stop. Get you. It's my son's Christmas. Take a walk. All right, don't. Take a f walk. Why'd you invite me then? Take a walk. Take a walk, you right, garbage. Right. Stop. 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 Why'd you invite me then? It was a technicality, I think. Excuse me? I think it was a technicality. Don't even talk. You two trying to play both sides of the fence. No, what are you no, talking I don't about? have two sides to play. I have one side to play. You're not allowed to play. See my sister? Don't one talk. side. No. Don't even talk. When you're on the phone with me, you take the other side. Say no, no, no. hey. One side to play. You're not on the other side. Don't die. Don't die. Don't get it twisted. Lisa, one side. Yeah, whatever. It is that side. Lisa, shut the f up. Lisa, shut the f up. One side. What happened the other day and what happened at the christening, it seems to me that it's just very combative all the time and everybody's, everybody's talking but nobody's listening. The oh, night no. I got home from the christening, I called his best friend. I said, you need to take me to him because I don't know where he is. He's in construction. He's all over the place. And I called his best friend. I said, you need to take me to him because I don't... Listen, I have four kids. I can't be chasing my brother around. And I've been wanting to go face to face and talk to him. But you know what, I'm busy, I'm working. So if you're really that upset about your brother, maybe you should write him a letter and tell him how you feel for real. The first time you write the letter, it'll probably be really nasty, and then you redo it, and you redo it until it gets no, all your points across, nasty. and then it's really no, nice. I would never be nasty. That's my thing. Points. No, but I'm saying, like, don't, okay. don't go after him. Don't, all don't. I want to say in the letter, I love you. I Let's want us to be a family a again. What are you doing? Wake up. You're hurting our children. Sorry, You're hurting our parents. Did you hear what you just did? Yeah. What That's are you doing? What's going on You're hurting our head. parents. You just yeah. attacked. Can't. Can't do that. There obviously is an issue with communication. Not on my end. Listen, I don't care yeah. whose end is on. Yeah, I'm trying. There. I'm trying. He won't Got let it. me in. Heard you. Got it. That's There's an I'm issue with communication. When you write the letter, do not write, what are you doing? You're hurting our parents. You don't believe it's an attack, but it is. Okay. It says, I decided to write you this letter because sometimes when we speak, neither one of us really listens. I hope that by writing you this letter, you will see it as a positive step in bringing our family back together. I'm sorry if I have hurt you and your family in any way. I love and miss all of you. Please call so we can meet face to face and work this together. Love your only sister, Teresa. I think she's trying to say she, I think she said the words, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. She hurt you, she hurt me, she hurt our kids. It's, it's hard to uh, let it go. I think you should talk to her, at least hear her out, see what she has to say. No? 
Joe just wants Teresa to own up to everything she's done, to say, yes, Joe, I've done this to you. Yes, I've done this to your wife. And yes, I've been this type of aunt to your children. Unless she really fesses up to what she's done, she's not gonna have a brother for very long. What's up? Your closest friends say to me, what happened to her? What friends? All of them. Kathy and Richie that you're hanging out with now are cousins? Isn't there a problem that you're fighting with oh, Kathy? Oh, now you're, you're gonna, gonna put Kathy against me? You're damn right, because something is wrong See with that? you. See that? Because Kathy you? is buddy-buddy with your wife. No, no, because Kathy wow. has never did anything to me. Kathy's my first cousin. She took me to my Sweet 16 party. She did my hair, she did my makeup for it. She was like the sister that I never had but she's two-faced. She knew me and Melissa weren't the best of friends, and she started hanging out with Melissa. So that's what made me see that she was trying to get to me, which, to tell you the truth, it kind of did me a favor, because now I don't have to hang out with them at all. Everybody that's close to you, you argue and you fight with. That's your cousin. When I first got married, I put my brother before my husband. You know who used to always tell me that I shouldn't have did that? Kathy. Kathy always used to say, no, you should put your husband first. But my brother was my life. Joe, but after I got married, you were still close to my husband. Until you got married, that's when things changed. Oh, oh, so now it's, it's my wife that did it. But you don't think so? I'm your brother, no matter what. And this is true. I'm, look, I'm looking at you right now. Mm -hmm. We might have some disagreements, but no matter what, I'll always be there for you. Well, I mean, he doesn't feel like that way because when he was away for the, for the week, you didn't even call me that whole week. It's true. When my husband went away, my brother wasn't there for me. You know, here I am, a woman by myself with four kids. You know, why didn't my brother call me and see if, you know, I was okay, if I needed anything? I remember a time about four or five years ago when you guys asked me to lend you $25,000, right? You called me in the morning, and I was there in the afternoon with a check. Whatever, Joe. I mean, What do you okay, mean, whatever? Bring... Why are you getting nasty? I'm not getting... Why are you so defensive? I, I, I'm not being defensive, because, like, why up? are you bringing up money? But your husband it's brought like, that up. Like, are you kidding me? This is what it's all about. Everybody fights over money and jealousy. I don't know why you get so defensive. I'm not Bottom line defensive. is, honey, listen, you need me, Whatever happens, I will be there. I'm this your brother. I want to have a relationship with you because then How I How can we have a relationship? I just sat here trying to be positive and you what just you ripped my head off. What are you being positive? You're bringing up money. What you did, you called me up the other day and you said to me, straight up, you said, your wife, out of nowhere, if she met a richer man, she would leave you. You're trying to cause problems between no. my wife and my wife adores me. You're supposed to encourage my marriage, not try to break it down. But honey. then I, I'm not trying to break it down. Then why'd you say that? because I've, that's what I heard. You I heard, heard rumors. That. Joe. Even if you heard rumors, I hear rumors about you and your husband. Do I call you out on it? Do I call you so, and try to yeah, cause problems? Yeah, you did, you did, you did. What'd you I do? You said stuff about Joe. What'd I say? You said, I heard Joe's cheating on you. I said that to you. On my kids, they will or friggin' they die they today. Be, All right, see, we're bringing up the past. Don't play that game, honey. The bottom line is, if Joe ever goes away, I'll be there. I'm gonna knock on your door and I'm gonna take care of those kids, whatever you need, believe me. Okay, well, you know, but I want us to also be close. Today's the first step. Kids are out in the ocean, are having a good time, we're here. This is a first step for us to move on, okay? Yeah. Done? Done. All right, come on, let's have a good time. Mm -hmm.